Hello and welcome to another minion video for Final Fantasy XIV, this time to look at the Paisa Patissier minion. You can obtain this little creepy guy from the Ishgard Restoration's Kupo of Fortune minigame added in 5.21. We did a previous video on this scratch card minigame, it's fun, it's awesome, it's highly addictive. Please go check out that video on the channel if you want more information. This is a rare thing to obtain from that then, but you can actually sell this minion on the market board so you could buy this from other players with gill. Currently this goes for quite a bit on my server, yours might be different and I would imagine this is going to springboard up and down repeatedly as the weeks go by. So let's take a look at this fella then and read his text. Summon your Paisa Patissier minion, currently in training as a culinarian, and looks the part. This Paisa young was found among supplies sent from Camp Cloudtop. As punishment for pillaging the victuals, it was put to work in the kitchens, where it surprised everyone by demonstrating an aptitude for the culinary arts. The caramel milk tea it makes is to die for. The hidden text reads, They don't come much curiouser than the Paisa, a quote there of Noel. This minion reacts then to emotes you do without any title on. You can feed it from your hand with a handover emote, and when you poke it, you will actually get the Paisa to react, all surprised, raising its arms up and looking around suspiciously. I have to say Paisa are a living digital meme in this game in so many different ways, but now with hats on them, I don't even know how to react to them honestly, they just look hilarious to look at. And whoever's idea it was at Square Enix to actually take pre-existing minions and just put hats on them to make new ones this patch, and the previous patch in fact, is a absolute genius. There are so many implications from this, how many other minions in the game might get the same treatment? We saw the same thing with Odder Otter uh, quite a while ago where they made a broader otter, and more recently we have the Behatted and Behelmeted Serpents of Ronka minions. So yeah, they're all absolutely adorable, and I can only imagine hats on everything to come. It's a thing that has to continue, it's just it's just too good to not continue with. The model's actually great for a much older related minion, the chef hat is adorable, and the text is honestly just an example of Koji Fox's pure genius at work there. I always love the write-ups on these things there, they're absolutely great. An incredible reward then from Kupo of Fortune, one of the most addictive parts of this entire patch, and actually a great way of making gill as well. It leaves us now to ask, what would you want as a variant form of an existing minion? Perhaps you would like a fat cat wearing a sombrero, maybe a salt and pepper seal wearing a tuxedo, or maybe you're more of a sort of person who would settle for just a fake moustache placed on a Namazu. I know I fall into all of those above categories, and I'm pretty hyped to see what comes next. Thank you all kindly for watching, let me know if you've got this one for your collection yet, and I'll see you all next time.